Right then, <coughs> man, it's not what's the shop. Uh, there's a, it's bright, so I don't know how this is going to come out. Um, there's an awful lot of light. Maybe it's too much light. I will literally review the footage. But I have a wireless microphone, so I am all wire-free. And this is what I wanted to be doing for a long, long time. So I feel like I have to shout at the camera, but I don't because the sound is there and the camera's there. Right then, so um, this is something I've wanted to do for a long, 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 long time, which is cut off a section of this place. But I've always, I've always wanted to do this. Back when I got the shed the first time round. Uh, after like the, um, what do you call it? The Eon of Isaac. So, or the Saga of Isaac. And when I first built that place, I was like, oh, I could have a little corner that's like a little studio kind of thing. Any road, once you cram everything in there, it just wasn't big enough. And then that's the end of that. Um, for this place, however, I've got my machining, drilling, swarfy area in that, in that quadrant. Actually, split this place into sixes. So there's that six, sixth there. Then in the other corner, there is the dirty, a dirty box. In this corner, and this corner, you know, because this is split into thirds, there's my whiteboard, TV, fridge, recreational, sit down, chill out bit, coffee table. In that corner is storage and the polythene box for spraying stuff. And in the centre here, we have the bench run along the back, the lift, which I can move, not only where it is now, so it's facing front to back, but I can move it so it's going that way, which I actually like the idea. I can move it all the way around. Um, so I'm going to kind of leave it like that. I'm looking at getting some, just a lock up to put stuff like the R5 and the SV just in there, so they're out of the way to open up even more room, just let me do stuff. Any road, um, and I get to have this bit, which is my own little little box with storage underneath. Uh, the walls are going to be painted. Um, walls are going to be painted. I want a little micro because I can't fit the whiteboard, blackboard here. It's too big, which is fine because I'll leave it over there. But I'll put that here, or I might put some shelving up and all the bits and pieces, like just say a bracket, um, the, the kangaroo ball sack that someone sent me, all the little trinkets and stuff and all that jazz can get to go up here like a, a mural kind of thing. Um, but in the meantime, I've got this desk where we can put the camera there and I can do stuff here. I can put the camera there, and do stuff this way put the camera where you are or where the bike lift is if the bike was lower put the camera there and have it that way on I can fit there's enough room around here this is intentional so I can stick the camera here and you look down at stuff there's an eve up here I can literally have the camera come off there I've got some clip-on stuff so you can have the camera look down I've got the lights they're a bit blinding for me at the moment um, but they've got levels on the light proper stand studio lamps lights things um, so I've got all of the things that I need to do to do, um, the videos that are like, the, you know, like the, the practical, but theory. So when we're running an experiment, I can do it on this bench, stuff like that. Now, getting back to all of it, the way I'm structuring everything now is that I'm working Monday to Friday on my business related stuff. Five o'clock I stop, and then at five o'clock until about seven, eight, I get to mess around doing the channel stuff. On the weekends, Saturday, Sunday, I'm just going to stop, stop doing all of that kind of stuff and just do something completely different. So I've got some modeling stuff I like getting on with, some more modeling stuff I like getting on with, and then this is going to be part of it, right? So this was a, an engine that Dave dropped off. Ooh, um, a bit of swarf there. It, it arrived in this state and 
he gave, he just said, look, it's knacked. He raced this engine. We're gonna have a quick peek inside, but my, in a sense, weekend project for this is to clean it all down and then once it's all clean, uh, take it all apart and then recondition, you know, recondition the things that need reconditioning. Nearly all of this, so this main block, the cylinders, the head, the cylinder, the rocker cover, valve cover, whatever you want, they are all, I think, oh no, the, yeah, they are all, uh, apart from the rocker cover, they are all um, cast. They're all cast aluminum, but the sump, the clutch cover, I'm guessing that cover there, the magneto cover on this side, the water pump and the valve cover are all paint seracoated kind of thing. So I'm gonna do exactly that. I'm gonna seracoat them back up. And then the whole point of this is that this engine is going to be a cutaway. So what I'm going to do is cut away half of the gearbox strategically so you can bolt it all back together so it all spins, cut away half of the cylinder banks, half, a quarter of the head so you can see everything. Um, and obviously this end cylinder here, cut that away, cut away the valve cover uh, where the timing tunnel is for the timing chain, cut away half of the oil pump, uh, water pump, all of that stuff, um, just going to mark out where to cut, strategically work out where, how do I keep all the bolts and all the bearings and all the rest of it in line, so we can turn this, so you'll be able to turn the engine, might even get a little motor and replace the starter motor, so literally just get a, an RC type of brushless motor and replace it, even if it goes inside the body of it, try and disguise it, so basically you can flick a switch and the whole thing just turns like, you know, really slow, right? So really slow RPM, you know, like, I don't know, 60 RPM or something. Just so we can see the whole thing and you can literally even flick it into gear and have it all move and change and stuff. That kind of thing. And then what I want to do is make a, um, a tiny bit of a tubular snazzy, just, and that'll be its own project, tubular snazzy little bloody stand for it. And then I want it just to sit there. I want to sit here in all its glory and it'll be like a background thing, but also we can use it as a demo. You know, so when I'm talking about stuff, I can literally point and say, ah, well, what happens is, is when this happens, blah, blah, blah. And it'll, it'll, I want it to become a, a common thing where I say, let's go over to the model, I'll show you, kind of thing. Now, obviously it's not representative of every single model, but this is very similar or this has in it ev nearly everything that every single bike engine has in it. You know, it's, it's quite a common thingy. The cover here has been scratched to death. He's, he's gone down on it. Um, and it's literally scratched the actual crap out of it. But uh, the engine is, it, it, it's old and, it's old and tipping over. It's old and, uh, it's old and done, as in there is literally, it's not a viable option to get it up and running again. Um, because you spend all the money, right, revamping this, finding out what the problem is. I'm, I think it's got no clutch in it, so I have to source a clutch. I think it's got no clutch because I gave him the clutch out of it. Well, give him it back, let's put it that way. And... Um, so I need to source a second hand clutch for it, that'll be an eBay master unless someone's got one or something, I'll probably work out something. But yeah, that is the plan, is to, every weekend, I don't know, just like on a Saturday, I'll do the live stream and I'll come here and I'll play around with this. I'll record a video and try and get that out as quickly as possible. Um, but this is magnesium cover, is this? Um, and I'll probably cut away that bit where it's actually scratched to death because obviously that's just getting rid of the damage. There's no point in buying a new one. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But yeah, so that's the plan. This is 
Not because people might say, oh, God, you, you get on with Project Isaac. Project Isaac is on the weeknights. Right? That is a thing that I'm going to be doing. This is just a separate to get away from all of the things that I need to do and just have something. It's like a, it's like a giant model, in a sense, if you think about it. Yes, it's a real engine, but it's, it's going to be turned into a display model, if you get what I mean. So I kind of, it, it, it's more what I want to do in my hobby as well as just pissing around with engines. And, you know, it'll be chop a bit into it. It'll be like cut it with a grinder or whatever. Maybe the plasma cut for certain bits, all this kind of stuff. Just get in there, cut the stuff. I've got the mill where I can just clean off edges if I need to. All that kind of jazz. And just make it all nice and straight and cut and all this. So you can see all the internals and blah, blah, blah. And then it'll be all good. So... Um, this is also a tryout. I'm just trying this out with the lights. There might be too much. Um, and it's just a tryout as well as publishing a video of what you guys think of the setup, of the this little mini project, of the lights. God, Jesus Christ, they're far too bright. I might even just put them up and have them shining more down instead of at eye level shining my face. Because there's no point watching a video when someone's like this. Are you all right? Can you, can you, can you see what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what I mean? Anyway, it's a learning curve because I've never actually got studio lighting. Maybe they needed a fuser on them or a, a bloody whatever or something or an umbrella or a reflector or something. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Oh, that makes sense. And I'll see you in a bit. And I hope the sound is absolutely fantastic. Please say the sound is fantastic. I've literally gone blind. <laughs> Right then, so this is just a test. I might put this at the end of the video. This is just a test. So that's the lights with orange. So there's there's two sets of LEDs in these things. It's like it's just as bloody bright though. But that's kind of warmer, and then we'll do the cooler one. Is that better? -er? Is that better? -er? I, I don't know what's better for my eyes. But that's that's the cooler light. So the one before is warmer. Number one is warmer, number two is cooler. In the description, whatever, not in the description, in the comments, Jesus Christ. You have to forgive me, I've only been doing YouTube for like four months. Uh, <laughs> so this is, this is the cooler one. So tell me what you think. Is it the warmer one or the cooler one? Is that better? The shadows aren't as harsh as I thought they were going to be. They're a bit softer. But um, maybe I need to come at the sides instead of forward. Who knows? But um, yeah. It's just blinding me. It's just bloody blinding me. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs>